As Brittany Griner comes home, it's important to remember that there are others, including a Los Angeles man, that continue to be wrongfully detained abroad. So I recently went to speak with the mother of Avon Hernandez, who's being detained in Venezuela, about what Griner's release means for her family and Avon's case. Esta es de su graduación del UCLA. An avalanche of emotions hits Ana Hernandez Sandoval every time she looks back at pictures of her son Avon. Muy emocionante. Imagínese, se graduaba de, that was de such an exciting time. He was graduating as a lawyer. I was so proud, she says. Me sentí muy orgullosa de él. Avon Hernandez went on to become a public defender in Los Angeles, standing up for the rights of the poor and marginalized. And yet now it's Avon who's behind bars. Él no es un criminal. He's not a criminal. He's a good boy. He's a hard worker. He's honest. Avon's only error, she says, was getting too close to the Venezuelan border, where he was allegedly kidnapped and handed over to President Nicolas Maduro's regime, who is currently holding him hostage, according to the family. Ya son ocho meses que mi hijo está detenido. It's already been eight months since he was detained. It's not fair that he continues to be there. Since then, Anna and her other son Henry have been working day and night, doing interviews, putting Avon's name on buildings, and meeting with Congress members petitioning for his release. Jonathan Franks, who works to help free Americans detained abroad, says the case of basketball player Brittany Griner has helped to bring attention to other Americans being held hostage. I don't think we would have gotten the media coverage that we got if, we would, if Brittany hadn't been in. But while Griner comes home, another 60 or so Americans remain wrongfully detained abroad, according to the Foley Foundation. They need to do the exact same thing they've done for Brittany for the non-famous hostages. We're not going to see more of our hostages released unless we all speak up and tell our policymakers to, you know, get on with it already. Avon's family says the release of Brittany Griner gives them hope that the president is listening to the families. I want to appeal to President Biden and ask him to please bring my boy home. It would be the most beautiful thing for my son to be free by this Christmas. It would be the best present that we could have. And so she says she's holding out hope for a Christmas miracle that will bring them together again. For more information on Avon's case and ways you can support him and his family, you can visit bringavenhome.org.